hospitals have been preparing for this day. The folks who protect all of us have been getting ready. Uh, nowhere has that been more true than in our public hospitals and clinics, health and hospitals. Uh, we depend on so much in this city and health and hospitals, hospitals were the, bearing the brunt of this crisis during that time when we were the epicenter. They were going through some of the toughest realities. So they know they are battle veterans. They know how important it is to distribute this vaccine and get it right. Here to tell you about all the efforts being made in our public hospital system, CEO of Health and Hospitals, Dr. Mitch Katz. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Mayor, and thank you for your uh, continued support of the public hospital system. Without you, I think several years ago when health and hospitals was so close to financial ruin, there would be no health and hospital system. But you saved it, and I think it's proven what a great investment that is. Amen. It's really uh, risen to the occasion. I want people to understand how difficult it is to be a doctor or a nurse in the midst of a pandemic. Um, you're wearing all of your gear, um, but you're still worried, is this infection going to come home with me? Am I going to get sick? Am I going to bring this infection home to my children, to my spouse? And then all of a sudden, you're intubating a fellow nurse, your charge nurse, the nurse who kept you safe. You're intubating a fellow doctor. You work beside her uh, for all the weeks of the pandemic. What a horrible, horrible thing. And I'm so pleased that everyone recognizes that the healthcare workers should be at the top of the list. They've done their job. They're continuing to do their job. They need to be protected. They need to be kept healthy so that they uh, do not go out sick, but can be there for all of us if we should need their, their help at a hospitalization. And we're very proud of health and hospitals being able to receive the vaccine. We've been preparing for it. We will be focusing in the first weeks on those people who are at the highest risk of being exposed to COVID in the hospital. Those are people who are working with patients who have a breathing tube. That breathing tube causes more virus to be in the air. Because of that, we want the nurses, the ICU nurses, the respiratory therapists, uh, the anesthesiologists, the emergency room doctors, we want them to be vaccinated first. We look forward to, with the mayor and Dr. Chotsky, to being part of the broader effort after we've done the health care workers to do the broad population of New York City. There is no more trusted provider to the low-income communities of New York City than health and hospitals. We take care of over a million people a year. 400,000 choose us as their primary source of care. Uh, we are known in the immigrant communities as a safe place to be cared for, a place where you will not get crippling bills, a place where no one will report you, a place where if you're homeless and poor, you'll be treated with dignity and respect. And we look forward to being part of that effort. And Mr. Mayor, we agree, Dr. Chotsky and you, that till then, we'll all do our best to stay safe. Thank Amen. You. Amen. Thank you so much, Dr. Katz, to you and your whole team for everything you're doing to protect us.